gonna be good. This one's gonna be good, y'all. It's free talk Friday. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. It's your boy Hard Body Tie. I know y'all keep wondering why has the past three weeks Free Talk Friday been in his car? That's because I've noticed something. A, I'm very, very busy a lot. <laughs> B, uh, I tend to have my best thoughts as I'm driving or when I'm in the shower or whenever I have a moment to myself and I'm on the move where I can just reflect. So I got a question from somebody, and this is actually a good one. This is a really good one. And uh, he was talking about, okay, you talk about friend zone. You talk about attraction. You talk about you know certain things with relationships and self-value. Keep in mind, I'm not a relationship expert. I'm just giving things because I've had experiences. So everything I'm telling you is something that I have firsthand experience in, okay? It's not about me being like certain. Look, just, just take it for what it is, okay? It, treat it as if a friend is giving you this advice. Let me look in the camera. All right, so anyway, the question came up like, okay, um, this guy has been uh, just going through his motions, working on his grind, getting his money right, and his ex has popped back into his life. And he wants his ex back. Now, he's asking me, you know, the relationship ended terribly. It was ugly. The way they broke up. It was ugly. Uh, <laughs> it was ugly the way it ended. And uh, he's wondering, uh, should he perhaps make another move at trying to get her back and seeing if it would work. He said they dated for about a year and he saw her out and about and then he happened to see her again on Instagram. He happened to look her up and saw that she was single and uh, thought like, hey, maybe I should try this again. So my thoughts are this and, I, and I've been there before, man. Not much, but I've been there before because my thing is this. When I'm done with you, I'm done with you. Uh, <laughs> but he, he was wondering, you know, should he make a move? Okay, so this is the this is the thing, and you didn't give me too much information, so I'm just going to be uh, straight up with you. A couple things come into play. One, the circumstances to which the relationship ended. How did it end? Why did y'all break up in the first place? Was it something petty? Was it that serious? I don't know. Another thing, you didn't tell me how long y'all were broken up. You told me y'all were dating for a year, but has it been a year since y'all been split up? Has it been three months, six months? Who knows? I don't know. And those things play a role because uh, depending on what happened and depending on how long ago it was, my reaction may be a little bit different. If you cheated on her, right? Y'all been dating for a year, you've been cheating on her, and y'all broke up two weeks ago, it, my reaction to that going to be a little bit different than if it was two years ago. So uh, those things do play a role. Um, but what I will say is this, and this comes to any any situation where it doesn't work out between two people. You got to you got to keep in mind the circumstances to which that situation ended and is it something that is fixable? If you are fundamentally not on the same page. Y'all you know philosophically y'all don't agree on the same things. Y'all practice different religions. I don't know. Just on on most levels y'all are not on the same page. Y'all probably should not be together. Compatibility compatibility definitely plays a part. And uh, I've seen a lot of people get together based off of physical attraction, realize that they should not be together because nothing else lines up and they still force it to try to force it to work. Um, so if you're in that situation, I'm going to tell you right now, let her live her life and don't try to, you know, make something happen that clearly did not work the first time or else we wouldn't even be talking about this. Um, another thing, another thing, and this is one thing I like to tell people, um, did seeing your ex on Instagram make you all of a sudden, it's getting dark, I'm under the bridge, I so apologize, I'm behind this truck, so it's like a slow, dark ride. Anyway, did seeing your ex on social media or seeing her in person rekindle those feelings, or is there a little bit of envy on your part? And when I mean envy, is it one of those things to where you see somebody being okay without you? And that's a, that's a hard pill from... Uh, most people to swallow, most people to swallow, especially as men. Um, usually, when we are, 
leaving relationships, not just men, but women, everybody. When we when we get out of a relationship, we like to think that because we were involved with somebody that our value was so high to them, to see them happy with someone else or to see them happy by themselves without us being around, without us being a part of their lives, to see them truly in living, in living and enjoying their life without us. And like I said, depending on how long y'all been separated, or depending on how long y'all been um, single from each other, definitely plays a role. But if you're somebody you've been broken up with, I'm just going to throw out an example. If y'all been broken up two weeks, right? Whatever reason it didn't work out, y'all been broken up two weeks. And you see her on Instagram smiling away. Keep my social media. I tell y'all about this in a previous video. People put whatever picture they want to on social media. We always give the best of ourselves on the internet. But um, if she look like she happy without you, that's probably why you want her back. It's a part of you that you're, you're a little stung. You're a little hurt. And that's pride. And what you need to do is you, you got to swallow that, man. You got to let that go. You got to understand that, hey, we broke up. It didn't work. There was a reason it didn't work. And as good as she may look, and you may see her out and about, and she might be wearing something so nice, and you might see a guy around her, and it's going to sting. Ooh, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt, man. But look, you got to be strong. You got to be okay. You got to accept the fact that, hey, this did not work out. For whatever reason, it didn't work out, and she's happy. And maybe you need to be happy, too. I'm not saying don't try i'm just saying take everything into account man everything take everything into play some things are meant to be some things really are and if it's meant to be my brother it will be but some things some things are better left off alone just just leave it there so what i'm going to tell you because you did not give me all the circumstances you didn't give me all the facts all you told me is hey we split up uh i ran into her i've been thinking about her uh, it reminds me of that song Fantasia said, Truth Is. <laughs> uh, if you don't know that song, it's a good song. Truth Is by Fantasia. Th your situation sounds similar to that, man. If, you, if you've seen her out and about and you know it's a situation where you may see her again, my advice is just talk to her. Uh, ask her how she's been. And be genuinely friendly. Don't come in with no, some motive to scheme on her. Genuinely see where she's at mentally. If it's all pleasantries and it's all good, you know, maybe y'all exchange numbers. Maybe y'all get back in contact and maybe it works out. But if you get any any hint that hey it's still what it was when we split up she still feels this way about whatever i did or whatever she did or she looks like she's moved on and entertaining other guys because i'm gonna tell you something and i'm not not an expert on women uh and from my experience like i said i'm not an expert when they move on they usually move on women will uh again from my experience <laughs> When they when they when they feel some way about you and it's really strong and passionate, they'll always have some kind of concern or care for you. But when they've made up in their mind that I'm done with him, nine times out of ten, and some women lie and say it because they're not really done. But usually when they're done, they're usually done, bruh. So uh, <laughs> I called you, bruh. Uh, but when they're done, they're done. And so um, yeah, man, just take everything to account. Reach out to her and, and see what it's gonna be. Uh, but that was a really good email, man. I got all this light in the way. Anyway, like I always tell you guys, the advice is free. Hustle, hustle is sold separately. Be sure to send me an email, guys. I'll put it right at the bottom of the screen. Any questions you guys have, let me know, and I'll address it in the next Free Talk Friday. You guys be good. Go out there and get this work.